Gaston here. Welcome to another video. And now in this video, I want to talk about um, a little variation. Why? Because I think a good player. I mean, all my coach has been telling me all my life, and I, I mean, as a coach, I believe the same, the, the same thing. A good player has to have different variation and have to have different resources to get out of different situations. So that's why you know I, I make all the videos, try to make everything on, on shots that maybe you don't get to train too much. They're a little different. But I think, I mean, if, if you really want to get, uh, become a better player, you need to have all these different uh, weapons to, to kind of, you know, get, up, get out of different situations and have surprises for your opponents. So now we're going to talk about the drop shot. Why I think it's a really good shot, because it allows you at any surface uh, and at any level to cut the rhythm of the, of the rally. I see a lot of... Uh, people worrying about hitting so hard and you know they just focus down the middle and just hitting hard and they forget about the angles the taking the speed out of the ball the slice the drop shot and I I mean I wish I, I used to hit more drop shots when I was a junior player I started to hit more as I became you know 17 18 maybe when I came uh, back in time to the US to play uh, to play college because I started to feel that slice and drop shots were things that were giving me a lot of three points I mean three points um, so I started to practice more you know just doing drills and, and, and repetitions of, of drop shots and I try I was trying to um, to master it somehow uh, to be able to have these surprises of maybe you know being here on the base and hitting you know back and and then back and then one slice and then after surprise you're getting like you're gonna hit and then you cut the, the point with a drop shot I mean at the, the moment that your opponent uh, less expected you can really get a surprise and then you, you know your opponent gets all like oh, that was a good shot so we're gonna focus a little more uh, on this today and I'm gonna show you a couple of things on how, how you have to do it first thing as we talk on the slice the drop shot it's a feeling if you really get it there and you wanna you know hit the ball or just push the ball forward I see a lot of you know like they get there and they try to push the ball forward I mean the goal is gonna the ball is gonna bounce forward. What you want here is a ball that is gonna go short and it's better if the ball bounces and kind of like dies uh, or, or it doesn't bounce too high or it bounces and goes to a side so it's even harder um, for your opponent to get it. You know, we see a lot of this, a lot of great shots of the week of the pro players hitting the drop shot, the ball bouncing and then going to a side. And we've seen a lot better and a lot maybe getting the ball from uh, from the side of the net. So, what are things that you need to have in mind uh, for the drop shot? And one of the things that I love to hit this, uh, this shot, it's to get a ball that, uh, that allows you to get maybe one step or two steps into a court, or three or more, but start into one or two steps. And where you come in trying to hide the drop shot with another shot, maybe if you're one-hander, maybe it's easier because you can change the grip right away that if you're two-handed, then you need to to take their hand away of the racket but try to always hit it you know when you're on the rally you can get there and you hide it and one of the things that you need to get there it's kind of like stopping the ball with your body so let me get let me give you three uh three tips for this shot one when you're gonna get it again a ball that allows you to maybe from this on the baseline going to this you know one step there um to get the ball short the second one i prefer the drop uh the drop shot down the line and cross court why the distance is shorter if the distance is longer in the cross court your opponent is gonna have more time to see the ball and get there second because if you are in this position here you play down the line you're still in a good position to cover the court if your opponent gets there that if you play from here cross court your opponent still have the chance if he's really fast to make it and take the ball down the line and make you run all the way to the other side. So re let's go again. First, you get in, you hit the ball. Now we're gonna talk about the hitting part. Second one, better to play down the line. And third, try to get uh, the ball to bounce a little to the side so it's even harder for your opponent to get it. So let's, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, show you a couple of drop shots, you know, from different angles, hitting it, and then I'm gonna give you the tips on where you need to focus on the hitting to get a really good drop shot. Let's take a look.
where I show you there a couple of balls um, that I that I hit, and if you pay attention to how I hit them, I mean you can see that the, the balls were coming from this side of the net, which makes it a little harder. Of course, it's easier to hit a drop shot for me. I think it's if you have a good technique, it's, it's easier when the ball comes a little faster because what you want is to, you know, with your body create a block and then just feel with the hand. Um, just cut the ball with the hand so like I say if you pay attention I made a couple of different things one if the ball comes faster what you can do is this you can get to the ball stop there okay putting the, the the body of your weight on the front leg and just cutting the ball and staying which will make the ball yes go a little higher bounce onto the side that's one option another option is just if the ball is a little wide, you can get the reach, cut it here with your arms. Okay, we see, um, I think the one that most, that does this the most is Feather, where he reaches here, he cuts the ball, and then he stays looking at where the ball is going to recover the court. So that's another option. And another option, if the ball is a little shorter, what you can do is what I did in the last one. I hit the ball and I kept going forward because I was looking for a really, really short ball there. And of course, I will have to cover there the net to close the spaces so my opponent doesn't have many options to defend that ball. So why I show you that? Because, like I said, it's a drop shot, but I don't want to be like a, like a robot here just hitting balls. You need to have different things that depending on how your opponent is playing the ball, you can apply a different kind of drop shot. Of course, this is not going to be a, an overnight uh, success. You need to practice this a lot. You actually need to start to make it on the matches. Even if you miss it, that's the only way you're going to learn it. Okay, as everything, you need to fail so much to learn uh, as much as possible. But yes, you can learn from different fittings. Try always, if you can, somebody with your racket, uh, with the racket, just faster balls in different uh, directions here. You can have outside, you can have some shorter. So you can try all the different variations on how you are standing against the ball and of course you're gonna get better as you try if you have any question of course on how to improve or you know different exercises to to work on this just uh, let me know in the comments all right so if you guys uh, like this video please thumbs up share with your friends if you think you're gonna help somebody subscribe to the channel if you didn't and that's it for today thank you guys for watching see you in the next one